Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So, Prince Louis may be following in the environmental footsteps of his grandfather King Charles as he reportedly enjoys taking his electric car out for a spin. The young royal can often be seen driving around the 100 acres of private land at Windsor Castle, a source has said, when he isn't busy stealing the limelight at events like the coronation and trooping the color. As he is only five years old, Louis is naturally supervised when he drives his car around. An insider told The Sun, he can use the paths that are running through Frogmore Gardens like a racetrack, and it is completely private. The queen used to use the area to go riding and take her dogs. Now Andy and Fergie go there with the Corgis. It's quiet and away from the public so ideal for Louis. Electric cars for children are not cheap, often costing upwards of 100 pounds. But famous branded cars from the likes of Land Rover, Mini Cooper, Bentley, and Mercedes D-Wagon are available. Back in 1952, Charles was pictured inside a pedal car at Balmoral with Queen Elizabeth while on holiday with the rest of the royals. The king's passion for environmentally friendly automobiles has continued into adulthood as he now owns an Aston Martin powered by cheese and wine waste. Prince William is also practicing what he preaches when it comes to saving the planet, as it was reported this year that he has bought an electric scooter to enable him to get around Windsor. Apparently, it has sped up the three-mile round trip from Adelaide Cottage, where his family lives, to Windsor Castle to see his father. A source told The Sun, it just makes sense. He whizzes up to the castle when he needs to see the king. It's a two or three mile round trip from his family home at Adelaide Cottage to Windsor Castle, so it's easier by scooter than car or walking. While William and Charles are united in their fight to stop climate change, one royal expert has highlighted their two very different approaches to the issue. Royal correspondent Richard Kay said, I think Prince William has really captured that American spirit, that can-do spirit, that optimism. That's what the Earthshot Prize is all about. His father, King Charles, over the years he's been a bit of a prophet on the environment stuff, but he has been very gloomy. He always reminds me of that character in Dad's Army, we're doomed, we're doomed. And he's always warning how we only have so many years left before we all die or whatever. So what do you think about this news, guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.